all mental health therapists know this everyone who's a life coach knows this and everyone in between knows that in order to change for the better you have to go through some tough times hey everyone welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me justine where all i want to do is inspire the event designer in you so if you're new here on my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all of the event designs business and anything else in between when it comes to starting an event business i have a secret guide that i'm willing to give you to how to get more clients in the door especially your dream clients so if you want to know the secret ways that i have used to get multiple clients in my business along with the designers who come into my programs feel free to click the link so that way you can start booking your dream clients in today's video we are going to be discussing why most event businesses fail and really most businesses fail within the first five years and how you can start a successful event business right from the beginning so if you're interested in understanding why businesses fail especially in the event industry within the first five years and how to become a successful business within those first five years please keep watching okay so let's go through the journey of starting an event business and it usually starts with you usually a lot of designers and decorators planners and whoever else is in our event industry world they start off with being very creative since they were a young child if that sounds like you make sure to hit that like button because i would love to know how many creative people we have here watching this video now your nine to five sucks at this point as you get older or it doesn't suck but it doesn't really make you super creative the way you used to be when you were younger. A lot of my designers tend to express that they were creative since like primary school, right? Elementary school, middle school, high school, and even back in college. And if you were anything like me, you love doing projects that were for homework versus the whole class saying, ah, why, right? Because the non-creative people didn't care to do projects, but the creative people like us, we were about that life. <laughs> Most creative people need to constantly be creative, otherwise they do fall into a depression. My therapist said, depression is suppression of your natural abilities and talents. So it made sense that when I was in the classroom and I wasn't able to be creative as I wanted, I went into a full spiraling depression when it came to the first five years of my teaching career and realizing that it wasn't for me. All of a sudden you start getting creative, you start doing decorations for family. Some of you have kids that you start decorating with, or some of you were sitting at home during 2020 lockdown and decided to give a creative skill a hand. A lot of my designers who find my channel are interested in the balloon business. That doesn't mean everybody is. So I'm speaking to anyone who starts an event business because usually they are creative entrepreneurs that want to turn their skills into a real business and get paid for it. The misconception when it comes to starting an event business is that you'll always feel inspired. And in fact, if you follow me on Instagram, y'all know I go live once in a while and I teach lessons about a lot of the misconceptions and the things that need to be discussed in the event industry because people are going to be dropping their businesses like flies because they have the wrong idea of what it means to be successful in the event space. Most designers and decorators in the party industry or in the event industry in general, they tend to feel inspired. So maybe you're watching this video and all of a sudden you feel motivated to tackle on your event designs and try to get them out there into clients, right? It's part of the process. This actually does happen. It's part of the journey. But this is where people mess up. A lot of designers think that the journey of being an entrepreneur is linear and it's always skyrocketing and going up, right? The more motivated you are the more results you get the more work you'll put in the more clients you'll get the more clients you get the more money you should have in your business if you're watching this video I guarantee you you don't have any of those things that you thought you would get and I only know this because I've been there guys <laughs> don't think I'm judging you in any type of way but I've been there and I want you to understand that we have to change the narrative you start to realize that motivation is not enough <laughs> You'll get clients one month and then the next month, crickets, nothing, nobody. You're like, what the heck happened? I thought I was doing good. The momentum of your business completely declines and you have no idea 
why this is this way but you start watching more videos and you're like you know i'll just get back into it get motivated well i'm here to tell you motivation actually dies quickly when you're starting a business because no matter how many videos how many podcasts how many things or anything that you absorb to keep yourself motivated it will never be enough and i'm not talking about from lack mentality i'm talking about this is not the part that people understand about running a business or even starting one here's the truth your natural high when you first start out will die it will die it will become non and void and you won't understand why there's no clients in the or when everybody said they were interested so this leads into you feeling frustrated you feeling depressed then something that happens that a lot of people don't know is that your world in your personal life starts to crumble and things start to go wrong you end up asking yourself is this even worth it i'm not even getting clients i thought i would be able to build the business and then leave my job and now there's nothing in my future where i can see this actually working out now don't get me wrong this is not a linear journey some people might get back-to-back -back clients for a while but then all of a sudden their business does drop but you have to expect that the business will drop because that is the biggest misconception is that everyone thinks that they're supposed to get clients over and over and over again and i know some of my content has said hey this is why you're not getting clients but it's beyond that here's the truth the ugly truth about starting an event business you're not going to get clients throughout your journey in the beginning stages of starting your event business remember i'm not here to sell you on fluff i am here to sell you on realistic and obtainable goals that you can achieve right now the moment that you start questioning yourself and you're feeling depressed and you're like what the heck you know that entrepreneurship is hard right a lot of people come into this space knowing that it is hard work you already know that and most people will tell you, you have to be flexible you got to do hard work you got to put effort into your business you have to create the momentum including myself i've said it multiple times in all of my videos but the problem is not understanding that this will happen the problem is what do you do when this happens and that my friend <laughs> is where we don't want to live and i'm going to explain what happened when most designers start their businesses this is where my channel evolved because i know what it's like to be in a space where you become desperate and some of you might say well I'm not desperate I know money will come I'm gonna get the clients okay but are you doing any of these things are you giving discounts to family and friends are you producing sales in your business all the time are you doing giveaways to get more people to join or follow your instagram are you worried about vanity metrics on your social media and are you expecting that all your followers will turn into clients see this is the harsh reality that we all face and there's so many more things that go into when things start to lose momentum in our event business but those are some of the actions that most people don't realize that they're doing in desperate times because the momentum of their business is completely going down and they're trying to get the momentum back up to get those clients in the door because what do the business gurus on the internet tell us adapt to change hard work keep pushing well i'm letting you know right now all of it is true don't get me wrong about that However, we have to switch the way things are done in your event business. And this is the why most people fail because they'll get into that loop and it'll just be ongoing. It will literally be start an idea, put it out there, get clients, give discounts, do something else, then offer something else, right? And then it goes all over in the loop and there's just no ending it until you get burnt out, until you can't handle it no more, and then you quit it's unfortunate but it does happen but i'm here to tell you you're just doing it all wrong and i want you to get out of that toxic loop that you're probably in right now into a more understanding loop and understanding what you should be doing to bring success in the business that you're creating so now that we talked about why businesses especially in the event space fail pretty quickly now i'm letting you know right now there are multiple elements to why businesses fail you know, maybe you don't track your numbers, maybe you're undercharging, maybe you're overpricing and not delivering your value. There are so many things, but 
for the sake of this video, <laughs> we're not going to go through every single one of them because it's an abundant and immense amount of stuff that can go wrong in a business. But this is the typical journey that I want to take you from failing to succeeding and closing the gap in between. So in order to have a successful event business, you need to understand what the journey is actually looks like because if you don't understand it you're going to be depressed all the time and you're going to do things your future self is going to be shaking their finger and like what are you doing we're not supposed to be doing this come on you have to grow you have to get out of this when you understand what an event business journey looks like your expectations actually change for the better because now you understand what is the flow of how to become successful and what to do when there are low times because I'm not here to sit here and tell you there aren't going to be low times actually you're going to probably have a lot of low times versus your high ones but here's the difference of why certain businesses succeed and then certain businesses don't you gotta really think of an event business journey as a little wave right it's going up and down up and down up and down up and down all throughout days, the weeks, the months, and the years of starting and progressing forward in your business. Everyone enjoys when their business is high. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't mind getting the money. <laughs> bring on the clients, bring on the income, bring on the profit, bring on extra money in my pocket, like so I can pay for this, or I can go here, or I could hire this, and I can make more money getting this for inventory. Listen, we all can celebrate the highs, right? That's all where all of us wanna go. The problem is, like I told you, is that we all think it's a linear effect versus understanding that it's more like a wave, okay? There are high and there are lows. You gotta kinda think of like high tide and low tide, right? Everything is simulated in ups and downs throughout life. Business is no exception. So we talked about what happens when businesses fail. It's because they're doing these. They're creating sales. They're giving discounts. They're impatient. They're creating new designs. And they're not sticking to that one design model that I've been preaching about forever. During your lowest times or your slow months in the event space is when you should be growing the most. In life, humans don't transform or grow in the highest points of their lives. The true testament of a person changing is when they're at the absolute lows. All mental health therapists know this. Everyone who's a life coach knows this. And everyone in between knows that in order to change for the better, you have to go through some tough times because through those tough times signify growth, change, and alterations to what didn't serve you before to where you want to be. Some things that you should be doing when things are slow or even low in your business obviously i will always advocate for you to rest sometimes a pause in your business may do more it will do more good than not resting i think when you're pushing yourself constantly to the point of burnout you're not going to make it anywhere right that's desperate it's lack it's just go 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 and you're not able to fully tap into who you are as a creative entrepreneur and actually creative people need a lot more rest because you use a different side of your brain than the logical people on this earth that is not a scientific you know distinction that's just my own honest opinion because i think creative people think very differently than this world has evolved into so rest up boo boo but here's really what you should be doing instead when your business is not flourishing the way you want it the first thing you should definitely do is get a mentor <laughs> i can't stress that enough i know a lot of you will feel so inspired by my videos and i will continue to show up and create content as long as i'm here a mentor is someone that's with you along the journey a mentor is someone who pushes you outside your comfort zone because you won't do it yourself a mentor sees the potential that you have and knows what's best for you and will make sure you progress forward but they won't force you to do anything right when you find a mentor these mentors have to be a person that you know they're going to hold you accountable and you know they're going to be worth it because the success on the other side of them pushing you is so vast compared to doing it on your own some of the biggest people names in this world uh, the wealthiest people on this earth have all had mentors 
and mentorship is not something that we should it should be a taboo topic you can't make it in this industry successfully without investing into having a mentor Another thing that you can do to definitely develop that successful event business that you definitely want is investing in yourself, investing in your business, investing in your creative skill, tapping into placing financial growth into becoming the best version of yourself. Here's the thing about a lot of designers. They think they can do it all because they're naturally creative, but I'm letting you know right now, people have put their time and energy into programs and I see them all the time. I see balloon workshops, you know, cake workshops, business um, courses, all these other things that are online that are basically there for you to learn, to progress forward into the growth of you as a business owner, a creative entrepreneur, and more. A lot of people will complain that they don't have the money, but I'm letting you know right now, the people who sacrifice the most are the ones who end up winning the most. A lot of people are like, oh, I wish I could afford you. Stop wishing and make it happen. When you take the time out to invest in yourself, you will hold yourself accountable to make sure you do exactly what you're investing in. You put such a big emphasis on going to college and going to university when in actuality somebody has done what you already want to do and they're showing you the way, but yet yeah, you won't invest in them, but you'll invest thousands and thousands of dollars into a degree you probably won't be using in the long term. Yep, I said it, and I'm a former educator. And that's what I used to say to my students all the time. But it really does make a difference when it comes to investing in yourself. Another thing that you could definitely work on when things are pretty low um, to have a successful business is find out what worked. If you were able to get someone to book you, even if it's for a few dollars, right? Let's say for instance, they bought the supplies and they believe that you can create it. Find out why did they believe it? Why did they trust you creatively to create something for them, even if it was a discount? But I don't support that decision long term, right? But if you have done it before, figure out what worked, especially if they were a decent client. And as you are progressing forward through these low times, because don't get me wrong, it's easy said than done. It's easy to sit here and talk to you in a camera in front of my face and saying, you got this, you can do this, you can do these when you're low. But in the moment, it's rough. <laughs> It's really rough. So understand that as long as you keep pushing forward with your event business, no matter what stage you are, you're going to be successful, right? You're gonna push past. However, it's up to you on when you get there. I know you guys are starting an event business and I do have a monthly membership called Design Your Dream Society. So if you're interested in that, feel free to click the links down below. I would love to have you. I help you start your event business to start getting clients in the door right away so if you're ready for that change if you're ready for that journey and for me to be there with you along the way feel free to click that link down below all right everyone so this is it let me know what is your biggest takeaway are you scared to fail or are you scared of success i used to be scared of success a long time ago but let me know your thoughts in the comments feel free you know i'm always showing up there for the most part in most of my videos especially the new ones so i love you all continue designing your dreams into reality and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye work hard for it honey mm. gotta work hard no you don't you just gotta keep going